to uh, one of our beer can making videos. Today we're going to be making a little uh, tin box uh, like this little fellow here. Uh, this is made out of uh, one of those large beer cans uh, as opposed to a stubby but here he is a little, actually this was made out of a pear cider can. Here's the lid and the little base fits on top like that and you can see this has been embossed uh, with my freehand design. I think this technique is actually called repose, repose I think. Um, but it's, it, I'm using just regular tools like a pair of scissors, uh, an old ballpoint pen and a ruler uh, and, a, and a piece of cardboard to work on uh, and of course plenty of beer cans and you could be making yourself a lovely can, uh, little box like this and I'll show you exactly how that works. Okay so we're going to start with one of these large beer cans or in this case a, a cider can. I think the larger size is better than a small can and you'll see why in just a few moments. First of all, let's cut the top off. I like to have just pierce into the can and snip around the top. I'm cutting just below the rim of the can and I'll trim this up in a short while. Cut that bit off like that. And then I'm gonna cut down the length of the can down to the bottom as far as I can go and then just a little nip around the corner to cut the bottom off as well. You don't need to be very accurate about this. Trim it all up in a short while. So we've got this here and I'm now going to trim this edge to get rid of the rounded corner very close to the edge there again. So what we have now is a sheet of thin aluminium. So I like to roll this out a little bit, just to take the curl out, just to see if we can get the little flatter. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to mark the fold lines on the tin, and we'll do that with a ruler and I can use a sharpie to mark this out as well. So first of all I'm going to put a straight line down somewhere along the edge here and then my dimensions I'm going to do as 10 mil, 15 mil, 54 mil, 54 mil, 15 mil, and 10 mil. I'm going to sign this in here. Now, with this pen, this is my favourite marking pen. It doesn't actually work. It's a dry, dried up pen, but it's a ballpoint pen, which is the perfect scoring or folding And I'm just pressing just, just enough to put a kink into the metal. And you can see there, I've just put enough pressure in there to put a nice kink into the metal there. And I'm just scoring these lines down that we've just drawn. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same again across ways. So first of all, I need to square my line with these lines here. I just use a, a post-it note or something like that to give me a right angle on my lines here. So I just line that up onto the, onto the metal like that. And then I know that this is now square down here. So I can now put a, a line down there. And I'm gonna use the same, same dimensions again across. So I'm going to go with 10 mil, 15 mil, 54 mil, 10, 20, 30, 40, 54 mil, uh, 15 mil, and 10. The same again down here. Okay. 
scan. I'm going to score those over as well with my favourite dried up ballpoint pen. So there you go, there's a, a scored up dimensions, and I'll show you the di dimensions a little bit later. 10 mil, 15 mil, 54 mil, 15 mil, 10 mil, and it's the same both ways. So now I'm going to cut this out. Now we're into a very, uh, we've got to cut the corners out and this is very, this is very specific. The bits we're going to cut out now on each of these, we're going to throw away all of these bits here on each corner. So I'm going to cut those all out, all four of those. All four of them have that shape on them. There you go. All four corners have been cut out in the same way. Now we want to do a little score on the corner pieces. And each of these little squares in the corner on this side, I want to score a little crease line on this side here, like this. Those corners. So now is the time to decorate the, the piece here. The decoration I'm going to do in the large square here and these four side panels here. Uh, we're going to do this freehand and you can do whatever shape you want. I'm going to go with um, a shape a little bit like this. And I, I tend to start with a little bit of a, a boundary box just inside the panel, about that sort of size. And then within that boundary there, I can then put my freehand designs of whatever shape that might want to be. Here I'm doing some lovely love hearts. Uh, but let's see, on this one here, I might design another boundary box filled with diamonds. Why not put diamonds in? And then into our middle section here, again a boundary box. So there's our finished design in whatever design you'd like to do. And now the magic starts, and this may sometimes feel a little bit little laborious, but it's fun as well. We're going to turn it over, again working onto the cardboard sheet we have here. I'm going to trace round every one of these lines that we've we've made earlier. Sometimes they're a little difficult to see, but I'm just tracing around the inside of that love heart and the outside of that love heart. And on this diamond here, around the insides and the outsides of it. What's happening? It's making the the lines you pressed on the other side to pop up. So just going around the inside of this leaf and the outside of this leaf. Side of the leaf and the outside of the leaf. It is difficult to see sometimes, but you'll be delighted with the result in the end. So 
And those are all the lines that we've just drawn over. When we turn it over, you can see it starts to pop out with some, some nice detailing. If you choose to, you can still go back over the lines you drew earlier. If you want to sort of make those pop a little bit more. The idea here is to just give as much relief to the, the shape as you can do. So now that's ready to, to fold. Uh, folding is as simple as folding along the crease lines that you made earlier. Right, you need to sort of gently work on these. Easing those to start with. Try not to bend them backwards and forwards too much because the, the tin will eventually crack. So once you get to the, these corners here, we want to tuck those corners in. And you can see I would just gently work that round, gently working that corner in like that. And I want to do that on all the corners, gently. Is just fold these these corners in like this. There's one tucked in there, and this one I can tuck in there as well, like that. And then this edge, this edge here, I'm going to fold over the top to secure those those two folds. Folds in like that. Do this other side here. Again, the two folds are caught in there like that. And I fold this fellow over to secure that. And then these two ends here, they can also fold over inside like that as well. There is a little bit more tidying up. Is our box lid? Our box lid looks like that. Now all we need to do now is make a base for it. So when we made our lid, we scored on the printed side of the can. This time for our base, we're going to score on the silver side of the can. The dimensions are going to be slightly smaller because the, the base is going to have to fit inside the, the uh, lid. So, uh, so let's get scoring this fellow in the same way as we did before but with slightly different dimensions. This time we're going to go for 10 mil, 20 mil, 50 mil, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 mil, 20 mil, and 10 mil. And once again, to get our square, we use post-it note or a piece of paper just to ensure that I'm getting a square line here and a square line down here. And we'll do the same dimensions again. Cut out in the same way again. We're going to cut out these corners that we don't need again.
there we go. Here's our piece scored and cut out to shape. Once again, we're going to have to score these, these corner pieces, but we're going to do it on this time, turn it over like this. So it's on the other side to how we scored earlier. And because this is the base and we don't need, really need to see much design on this one, I'm not going to design this, but you could do, I guess, if you chose to. So I'm just going to simply fold this one up now in the same way as we did before. Start the creases a little bit like that. And then again, we're going to tuck these corner pieces in as we fold. And as we did before, we're going to fold these edges over to secure those corner pieces in. And there you go, there you can see that box, a little distorted there, we can twist him a little bit like that. So there's, there's our base in with the printed side out. All ready for our lid to go on like that. And we have a, a little box here for our special treats. So this is about the size of a, a box that you can make from a large beer can. Um, and this is a box that I made from one of those little shorter beer cans. It's a little more fiddly to do, but, uh, but it works in just the same technique. Uh, and you can see I've also put some embossing around the outside of this one. I've done some writing on this one as well. Um, but the idea of using the, the pen to make your design into the uh, metal and then working on the other side to relieve that, that shape, you can do any shapes you like, any size boxes you like, um, and these are just a couple.